Olivia's at the country club. Get in. I'll run you through the plan. Have a listen. Not for nothing, Olivia Marcano's a real piece of work. I still don't understand why Olivia Marcano was involved in any of this. By all accounts, she had two or three times the money that Sal Marcano had. Money didn't mean shit to her. From what I was able to piece together, she hired someone to kill Lucho. Wanted to run things herself. Bottom line, I think she got off on all that mob bullshit. We're fucked, Olivia. You understand? That fucking shit stain Duval didn't name us in the will. Now everything's going to his goddamn nephew. Have you actually reviewed the will? I read the part that said all the land I'm building my casino on is now going to Stephen motherfucker DeGamo. I read that part. Six months ago, Remy revised the will, but he never executed it. What the hell are you talking about? In order for the will to be valid, it needs to be signed. Well, God damn it, woman, I know that. What does it mean for us? It means I have grounds to contest. Remy and I were business partners in several ventures, and one of my holding companies lists the land as an ancillary asset. Sounds like a lawyer's wet dream. What's something like that gonna run me? I haven't the slightest idea. Nearly every cent I got is tied up in that goddamn casino. I can't afford a big legal fight. There's got to be another way out of this mess. Steven is coming to town for the funeral. I could arrange a meeting. Offer him a percentage of the casino's profits if he signs over the land. Yeah. Yeah, that could work. And then once he signs, we take care of him. All right, set it up. But my patience is at its goddamn end. Do you understand, Olivia? I'm tired of this bullshit. Have a little faith, Sal. Now, Mr. Clay entered the country club disguised as a waiter. Everyone in attendance was a rich asshole or part of the Southern Union, so getting Lincoln in there was easy. You put a black man in a uniform and he's damn near invisible. Hell, I drove in through the front gate and dropped him off. No one even gave us a second look. No. Surely, his uniform wasn't enough to get him past Mrs. McConnell's personal security detail. I mixed up a vial of fast-acting LSD. You know, same basic formula that we use as part of MK Ultra, and I gave it to Lincoln. He used a syringe to put a couple of drops into every drink he served. <laughs> Within a couple of minutes, anyone who drank that concoction was whacked out of their goddamn mind. Fuck me. What? What happened? I never learned how to tie a bow tie. <laughs> you sure you're up for this? Shit, I'll get in there and dose the guards with his military-grade LSD and get to Olivia. Don't let those pricks goad you into anything. Remember, you won't be able to take any weapons with you. How's it going, buddy? Follow the driveway up to the left. Got the case, the syringe is in there. And remember, the drug acts fast. It'll fuck up whoever gets a dose real quick. Good. No sense in giving anyone time to figure out what's happening. Let me get a look at you. <laughs> if they kill you, at least they'll have something nice to bury you in. <laughs> fuck you.
You see everybody else got here on time. Jim Crackers put their hands all over everybody else. Lazy nigga. That's their job. Had me out there. Fucking asked me where I got my car. Where I'm from. You best get in that uniform or get out of my goddamn kitchen, Claudia. Follow me. Get a rag on that counter. Looking like a goddamn rat's nest. Miss Olivia's gonna be out soon. She gonna say some words for poor Mr. Remy. Can't stand a lazy nigga. Nothing low on the face of God's earth. Get one of those out there to them folks and serve them their drinks. And don't go talking to any of them, you hear? You ain't been paid. Get them folks their drinks now. Stop right there. Hold on. You ain't been paid to stand around, boy. Go serve them poor folks. Drink up, motherfuckers. So, do they have a suspect? Now the one. Old Earl set to send some of his boys out to the holler, rattle some of them monkeys' cages. I don't see it being one of the coloreds. Fucking apes was never too smart, but you don't watch them. They get vicious real quick. to personally thank y'all for coming to see our dear friend Remy Duvall off. I know with all of the violence that has reached its way into our community, it might have felt safer just to stay at home or even leave town. But you did what Remy would have done. You held your head high and you didn't run away. It's not exaggerating to say that Remy was a brave man. But his bravery is not what I'll miss most about him. What I'll miss most about Remy Duval is that he gave this city... No, he gave us a voice. The man who murdered Remy robbed this city of someone who honored its history. Not only that... Remy respected our shared Christian heritage, which extends all the way back Mr. to... Mister, I don't know what you think you saw. Remy was a I dear, saw my dear client friend with that Marcano woman. A dear I know Mr. DeGamo's here, us. and In the I coming will go days to the police. Weeks, let's honor his memory by taking back our city, by preserving the way of life we hold dear to Remy. To Remy! Yeah, well, she's my wife, and I shouldn't have to beg for it at all. Hmm? Uh, yeah. We find this shine who killed Remy. He's gonna wish he was dead. Reginald, uh -uh. please keep your voice down. She what? says I don't talk oh, to her. No. He's probably one Get of the Get over here with that bottle, man. Hmm, okay. Do I look worried to you? I'll buy her flowers, maybe something shiny, and it'll all blow over. And if it doesn't turn her around, you well, look parched. Well, Have some I water. guess there are always more fish in the sea. Right. Let's be civilized about this. There's right, there's wrong, there's crazy. And then 
Well, as being a flag-waving Bama supporter. And I just don't want to see you get your heart broke. It's nice seeing you. I see what you mean. Hey, I never actually bring seen that bottle over here. Either. I had us some money. Maybe. Spill it. What do you, you know? You know we're gonna beat them to the moon, right? Well, damn Reds won't get the jump on the U.S. of A. Oh, come on now. When his daddy died. Just keep you it tight. over to watch the game on Saturday? And you're right, you're right. Grandma would have appreciated it. That's so lovely. I mean, every last Boy. goddamn dime yeah, is gone. Yeah, with the bottle. Jesus. What am I gonna tell the other brothers? We'll remind them to maintain white pride, brother. Because right now, it's the only thing the Southern Union has to its name. Big, big old man, dingo nigga. Hey, new guy, you can smoke over here. You see how Clarence is behaving? Looks like he's got a touch of whatever's going around out there. <laughs> Ask me, it couldn't have happened to a nicer fella. Serves him right. Nigga this, nigga that. It's every other word that comes out of his mouth. Bad enough hearing it from all these white folks don't need to get it from one of our own. Maybe after this, he'll rethink how he runs things around here. That'll be the damn day. on the moon, I could give a shit. Cause they're all gonna be white. Fuck them. Amen. Yeah. Hell with that, man. I'd think twice before going out there. Something's gotten into those folks. Something bad. I don't care what Clarence says, I'm staying in here. Those people have gone crazy. Finna cut that crap. What was I saying now? I just... <laughs> I wish I could show you. It's all connected. You see? We, hmm? you, me, him. We're all connected. Yeah. <laughs> See you at Sunday Mass. <laughs> Goddamn Donovan. Yes. Yeah. I see him. I see Remy. Something no. is wrong. Wait. Get me oh. out of here now. Yes, ma'am. I want additional men placed on the front door and around back. Oh. No one's allowed in or out without my say-so. Should I say something to the guests? Such as? You saw them. They've all come down with some kind of... <laughs> Sorry. That for Ms. Marcano? Yeah. I mean, yes, sir. Go on through. Put it on the ball. Has DeGamo signed yet? No, ma'am. And they've been beating on him pretty hard. Take one of his hands, see if that changes his mind. We need to get away from here before whatever is happening downstairs gets worse. I think our Negro friend here is a little dim. Won't someone get him out of here? All right, big boy. Time for you to... Vigilante! Shoot Ooh. that bastard! Got him! Ooh. Yeah. Someone from... Go! 
Gamo. Gamo. They have me out in a building. Down by the water. Thought you were going to kill me. You ain't worth the trouble. Something's bad wrong. asking you a second time, boy. You the sign over that land, hmm? I swear to Christ, I will bust every fucking bone in your body. You hear me? Hmm? I'm not... I'm not signing a damn thing!
Stupid son of a bitch! going on my wall. <laughs> Fucking with me ain't smart, pal. Get you out of here, but we need to move. Marcano's probably sending more men. Yeah. Okay. If they brought me here in my own car, I think it's still near. Yeah. Oh God. He's dead. My hand is ruined! I barely even knew Remy! Before they do, we're gonna die right here on this road.
me some new wheels over here in Frisco. Aye. I'll get around to you right away. Visual contact with suspect lost. Appreciate it. Where's he hiding? Oh. I'm in Frisco face. Fields and need some new wheels. On a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Perfect. Now get out of here. All units. Suspect has entered a vehicle. Right here on this road. There they are. That's a bad idea. Let me the fuck out! How long you think you'll last out there? Marcano ain't gonna rest till he finds you. He broke my hand! Shit! I just wanna go home. I know. Listen, I got a friend. He's gonna keep an eye on you for a while, keep you safe. At least till things calm down. Okay. Thank you. Lincoln left him with me, and I got him the hell out of there. And you still know DeGarmo's whereabouts? Like I tell any of you assholes. Good morning, Ms. Marcano. I'm here with your breakfast. Let's freshen this room up. Get some of that sunlight in here. That's better. Are you telling me Lincoln Clay did not murder Olivia Marcano? He didn't kill women unless he had no other choice. I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> Back in 67, we were in a bar in Saigon, and this gook bitch comes strolling in. Skirt barely covering her ass, and she starts offering everybody blowjobs. G.I. wants sucky fucky. Hmm? G.I. wants boom boom. Then she pulls out a grenade and she kills three guys. A couple Marines in the bar want to cut that bitch's head off, but Lincoln stops them. Keeps them off her until the MPs show up. If he wasn't going to kill that slag, he sure as fuck wasn't going to kill Olivia Marcano.
Who'd you send? I did it myself, ear to ear, just like you wanted. Good boy. Leave us alone. I got business to discuss. I understand you supplied the heroin Georgia was selling. See, si, certo. I never wanted that in my city. Shit like that fucks with people's heads. Makes them crazy. Stupid. It brings down too much heat. Bourbon? No, I do not drink. Georgie, tell you why I wanted to meet. He said the nigger is causing you problem. That you wish to discuss a deal between the two of us? I'm building a casino across the lake. I had it all set. Now the rights to the land are all tied up. It's a goddamn mess. You won my money. I'm gonna need enough to pay for all the blood-sucking lawyers, and that's not cheap. I want to hear you say it. Say what? That you won my money. Say those words, please. I want your money. This is good. I will bring you the money. And in exchange, you will let me sell heroin in your city. And you will not interfere in any way. Sure. Whatever you want. But that's not the only thing that you... You also wish for me to kill the nigger? I will do that for you as well. I enjoy killing the niggers. Jesus Christ. That's where Sammy's used to be. No one wanted to live there, so they uh, paved it over. Every now and then, something knocks the hell out of this country. Rattles it so hard, isn't much left but the foundation. And as painful as it is, we hope that this time, things are gonna be different. And that when it's time to rebuild, we won't just repeat what we've done in the past. And that maybe, justice and peace will finally prevail. Justice and peace are hard, ain't it? Sometimes too hard. So we take the easy way. Get lost on your way over? I put Olivia Marcano in the hospital, but I'll be surprised if she makes it through the night. Sal's gonna know that he's lost Frisco Fields, that we've taken over his drug operations there and shut down his fucking greengrocer. He won't let that stand. Well, I wasn't exactly waiting by the phone for your call. I did figure I'd be covering both rockets. We all make mistakes. Ain't nothing more true. Take, for example, you asking me to secure the last district, and they're not giving it to me. Your mistake. Me allowing you to get away with it again? That would be mine. Haitians are calling the shots through the city right now. And it's a beautiful thing. No reason this district shouldn't have some Haitian beauty in it as well. <laughs> Sammy raised you right, lad. Trust your instincts. Don't forget who you're dealing with, Lincoln. We know the struggle in ways others... Feels like a knife is being twisted in my fucking back. Calling this one for Scaletta. Goddamn, Chalky, what the fuck are you doing? I held down that bit of action just like you asked. I'm not taking this kind of shit from you no more. Good on you, kid. Good on you. All right, so if we done, I'm gonna go. Time to get back at it. Let's clear out. 